everyone updated. Let's begin with the basics. What is the Army Corps of Engineers role in, in all of this as Hurricane Ida approaches the Louisiana Gulf Coast? Oh, good morning, thanks for having me. Like uh, everyone else uh, here in the various emergency operations center, we're, we're up and running and we're monitoring the situation uh, and we're ready for it. Uh, we have local government liaisons in every emergency operations center along the Gulf Coast. That gives those local parish presidents and leadership the opportunity to communicate directly with us uh, if needed. So there's no filter there. Uh, and and we're, we're ready to go. Uh, it's it's going to be a, a pretty substantial storm here, but uh, like I said, we're ready. We, uh, we practice for this year round and uh, we're hoping for the best. Now, Renee, this is something that the city of New Orleans and residents have been thinking about for a long time. As we mentioned, today is the 16th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina and in the back of a lot of people's minds have been, when will the next Hurricane Katrina-like storm hit? So can you speak to the advancements that the city has made since Hurricane Katrina hit 16 years ago? There's been a lot of talk about how the city's levee protect protection system has really grown and is ready for the storm this time around. Yeah, it, it, this is not anything near what we had uh, on this date in 2005. Uh, 14 and a half billion dollars has been invested in the hurricane storm damage risk reduction system here and that it was the commitment from Congress and the commitment from two presidents of two different parties. It was uh, President Bush and President Obama uh, who saw the importance of this region to the nation and provided that money. And it shows what the Corps of Engineers can do with full federal funding up front. Uh, we partnered with uh, other federal agencies, the state of Louisiana, uh, local protection authorities and levy districts uh, to build this system that basically uh, wraps around the uh, the five metro parishes or counties of metro New Orleans and it, it provides risk reduction for just a little over a million people. Uh, so we're expecting it to perform as designed. Uh, looking at some of the National Weather Service products now, we, we may see some overtopping here and there, but that's that's to be expected. When we built the system, there was resiliency built into the system and that we armored the levees and we uh, hardened the pump stations and provided safe houses so those those pump stations could continue to run. And uh, we also built splash pad around the flood walls. So if water does come over, it hits the splash pad and disperses rather than running the, the ground right next to the, uh, the flood wall. So a lot of improvements. This is nothing like what we had 16 years ago. We had a system in name only then and now we have a true system. Are there any concerns as Hurricane Ida approaches? Well, I mean, there, there's there's always concerns. You know, that question would come up, where, where do you think the weakest point is in the system? And as a previous commander said, it's the space between people's ears. And mm, <laughs> because they, wow. they sometimes forget, they sometimes forget what has happened. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. this is this is on the same day as Hurricane Katrina, and I might point out as Hurricane Isaac as well in 2012. Uh, so the the thing, the big thing here is to listen to those local elected officials and do what they say. If they're you know they're they're still if they're calling for any type of evacuation out of an area, uh, please do it. But the most important thing right now is to listen to the local elected officials. They have the best information and they're looking out for everyone's best interest. So I was born in New Orleans and I was a resident when Hurricane Katrina hit. I remember being, I think, in the sixth grade and getting a mandatory evacuation notice very short of the storm approaching, which if you're from Louisiana, you know that we evacuate all the time for hurricanes, right? And I remember going to my grandparents' house in Franklin and just never going back to New Orleans, totally life altering. And we're hearing officials say that this storm could potentially have a life altering effect. And you're joining us from New Orleans. I'm wondering, what is the atmosphere like there? Uh, it's very quiet right now. You know, mm -hmm. people have, have made their final preparations. Those that have, have chosen to stay, uh, they've made their final preparations and it's, uh, it's just very quiet. Everybody is, 
it is inside right now, just uh, waiting for this storm to, uh, to pass through. All right. I'm so glad that you had the opportunity to speak with us, Renee Poche, with the United States Army Corps of Engineers based there in New Orleans. Are there any final thoughts that you would like to share with our audience ahead of Hurricane Ida? Well, you know, we, this is a, a team of teams down here. It's at, from the federal level, the state level, and, and the local level. And we've been working together in this great partnership uh, for the last 15, 16 years to get this system built and, and get it up and ready uh, to perform as designed. And knowing that, uh, you know, we, uh, we're we just going to say a prayer here and, and let's get through this. And Let's we'll get see through you on this. the other side, right? See you on the other side. All right. Thank you so much for joining us here on Live Now from Fox. Take care.